Uh, hey there, Russ here. Welcome back to the shop. Okay, now you've done it. You've made your little new little bench, bench vise using some uh, hand screw clamps. Easy peasy, but now you got all these handles and you go, how, how do I adjust this thing to use it? When you put it in place, you want to open and shut it and put something in there. You, you got to know which way to turn which knob. It really gets complicated in a hurry, but it doesn't. It actually using the basic hand screw clamp. Once I show you how to do that, what to think about, put your frame in mind and with the way I show you, you'll be able to know which way to move your clamp and your knob in order to get that clamp to do exactly what you want it to do. So let's go over a couple of things about these clamps and then I'll show you how easy you can take that and we'll open and shut these to whatever we want instantly without really thinking about it. So, okay, let's set this out of the way for a moment. <coughs> First thing is, let's bring in a regular clamp. This is my eight inch clamp. And they always teach you to adjust it. You always grab both handles and you just spin it and get it to where you want it. Then you can take and put your piece in there and tighten it down. Throw that idea away. Just never do that again. Stop. Stop doing it. That isn't how you want to adjust a hand screw clamp. Most of the time, you take your hand screw clamp. Let's say you want to put this piece of wood in there this way. Not this way, but this way. It's a little wider. So I want to take and put it in that clamp. All you have to do is remember, all these clamps work on a two-step process. Just like a just like an, a regular F clamp even. It's a two-step process to clamp into this. First step, you adjust it. You have to adjust the jaw where you want it. Then you can put it in there and then you take the part that tightens it and you tighten it in place. Right there, I missed it. There. And then you tighten it in place. Two steps. This is exactly the same thing in your head if you think about it. Let me show you what I mean. So to get this to go, first thing, rule, when you adjust it, always try to keep it parallel. To do that, you first bring it into parallel. Once you're there, then you always move these knobs in unison in the same direction. And by that, I mean, if you want to take and open this up, I, I have to turn both these knobs the same direction at the same time. So I'm going to take and turn them this way at the same time. And this one I'm turning this way. This one I'm turning this way. So it's just as if they were right here. But that obviously it takes two hands. So it's like rubbing your stomach and patting your head. You turn them both together to widen and lower and to close it until you get it to where you want the width to be just less just over the width of your piece. Now you can take, and now you go to step two, and that is put it in and tighten it down. And there you just follow a simple righty, tighty, lefty, loosey. So this is adjusted. So this knob here is, I call, let's call this the primary knob. And this is the secondary knob. This is the one that's closest to your clamping point. This determines the direction to tighten and loosen something in there. And it follows the same rule as any other vice. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. So if I have it here, I turn it this way, I'm turning it that way, that tightens it in place. Righty tighty, and if I want to loosen it, I just go the other way to loosen it. But if you turn this clamp around, now this is the handle you have to get a hold of. Now what? It's the same rule. This piece is already adjusted into place. All we're doing is tightening it in. So step two, put it in and you go righty tighty, turn it this way and there, I lock it down and lefty loosey. So righty tighty, lefty loosey. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. So it's quite simple. Make sure that when you're opening and closing, you're turning both of these at the same time in the same direction. Just as if this knob was there and you're turning it like this. You're doing this one that way, only you're turning them both at the same time. So remember, either you're adjusting your jaw so you can put something in there and tighten it down. 
or you're putting it in there and tightening it down. To tighten it down, use only one or the other. If you have to adjust the jaw in order to tighten this down, then move them both together and keep it parallel. It, that's, it's that simple. So I'm gonna move over to this clamp because we have now taken this screw clamp and we've actually anchored it into a vise so that this jaw is free and this jaw is fixed. Just like on our little vise. This one is anchored and this one moves back and forth to be the moving jaw. So, let's to go over. First off, one thing that you'll think about, if you, if you think about this for a second, this is a leg vise now. That's all this really is, same as a leg vise. You have, imagine the fixed jaw is the leg of your workbench, and this jaw is the jaw of your leg vise. Now, the only difference between this and a regular leg vise is the lower slide is on a slide that you adjust the upper jaw until you get it out far enough, and the last, the lower one will just pull out. When you get it out to where, how far out you want this, you put your pin in, then you use only the top one to tighten and loosen whatever you're putting in your leg vise. If this is the same thing. You, you adjust this, keeping it parallel until you get it to the width you want, keeping this parallel. And you're turning both of these synchronized in the same direction at the same speed to keep it parallel. This one determines, think about this one when you want to say, which way do I want to turn it? Well, you want to open it up. So that means that you're opening. This knob would have to turn lefty-loosey. So this one has to follow that rotation. And so we're turning this one the same way. And that's what makes that jaw move to where you want it. So very quick and easy. You look at this. If I want to put this piece in there this way, I can set it. I'm going to set it down here so I can kind of watch how wide I go. Both of them turn in the same direction. Lefty Lucy. This one's following. I open it till it's just wide enough to get it in there. Still parallel. Now I can go into tightening mode. So I can put it in here and I can tighten it by righty tighty and lock it in. Lefty Lucy. Or I can go to this knob and go. Righty tight, yeah, righty tighty, and lefty loosey. So that's it. That's all you have to remember. So just remember it's a two step process. And before you move your knobs, think about am I adjusting my jaw? In which case, you got to turn them both the same direction, or am I just tightening and loosening the object in the clamp? <coughs> So that's all there is to being able to adjust it. So anytime you look at this, now if I want to take and put this in here, I can look at this and I say, okay, which way do I want to go? First off, I got to do an adjustment, obviously. So I'm going to move both of these at the same speed in the same direction. Now, which direction do you want to turn that? You want to make this closer. So you're closing it. So that means righty tighty. So this one's going to turn that way. So this one has to turn that way. So instantly I look at that, I gotta turn this way, this one's gonna follow. I can instantly now adjust this to exactly where I want it. Pretty much parallel still. So now I can put this in here and go righty tighty, lefty loosey. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. It's as simple as that. So now let's take a quick look and let's go to this little devil. This one will get you unless you've figured out and understand what we've talked about up to now about putting it in and which way you turn it. Each, each of these jaws have two adjustable knobs. We want to put, let's put this piece in there this way. So now you would just take and I'm going to turn both of these knobs at the same time in the same direction. And we have to open it up. Which way do we turn this one? Turn this one this way for righty tighty. So we want to loosen it. So we want to go this way because we want to open that jaw up. So if this one's turning this way, this one's turning that way together. 
So now we just take and we turn it, keeping them parallel, trying to. And then when we get past the point where this will fit in there, we know that it's now tight enough. So now we go to this knob. Wait, don't get anxious. Don't say, oh, we got to turn the same way. Because actually, this is our primary knob. This is the one that you want to loosen. So now we're actually going to go the opposite way. So now I'm turning. It's still righty-tighty when you're looking at it from this one. But usually when it's sitting here like this, this one I turn that way to tighten. This one I actually have to turn the other way to tighten. So if I want to open it, I'm turning this one this way until I get it open. Now this one I'm going to turn. I have to turn the opposite way to open it because this is my primary knob. This is Lefty Lucy on this one. So look for where your primary knob is. Think about which direction opens it and which direction closes it. And then this one has to follow. Lefty Lucy. And when you get it where you want it, then all you have to do is grab either knob and it's righty tidy all the way. And Lefty Lucy to take it out from either side. So, see, mystery solved. Just remember, it's a two-step process. You either adjusting this, if it's a little out of whack, turn the one a little more to bring it back into alignment so that they are perfectly in alignment with each other as you open and shut it. It really makes it easier. Always try to keep it parallel and turn them at the same speed. If this one gets a little ahead, just stop that one for a second, turn this a little more, then turn them both together again and turn them in synchronization so that they turn the same direction. It makes it much easier to turn to open and shut your jaw as needed. So remember, adjusting, you have to use both of them in the same direction. To put something in there and tighten it down or take it out, it's righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. Simple. Same thing with this. So, I hope this clears it up. If you have any questions about how to do this, if you have to watch this video more than once, don't feel bad. You won't be the only one. Because it takes you a while for this to sink in. Do it on your vice a little bit. Put some things and just put them different space things. Adjust both of them quickly while you're looking at it. And you'll find yourself getting faster and faster to be able to take and actually move it to where you want it to be able to put a piece in here and lock it down. And then tightening and loosening. Once you have it adjusted, putting the pieces in and out becomes very quick with a simple turn of a knob. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. So, uh, if you have any questions, any thoughts, leave them in the comments. I hope this really helps you with the hand screw clamps, whether you're using it freehand or using it as a vise. The rules are the same for opening and closing the jaws and making it so you can put something in there and tighten it down. Uh, I want to thank you for coming by. If you learned something here, you like this video, hit that like button. It let's me know I'm doing something right. Most importantly, please come back again because I'm nowhere near done. Mm. And if you want to know about the rest of this, in the description, I have two other videos about what you can do with this vise. Just touching, just touching the surface of that. And then another one that shows you how I actually made this and how to make yours. You can do this in any size you want. This is a 4-inch clamp. I have the same thing right here in a 8-inch clamp. But you can make it using any pair of hand screw clamps. You can make one of these vices. It just varies as to how you do your base. Also, keep in mind that I did... It's over there. I did two bases so that I could actually separate these to have two vices. It's handy to do that. So if you're going to make one base, make two. All right. Well, I think that's it. Any questions? Any thoughts? And if you have any ways to make this even better... Don't be afraid to tell us about it because we want to know how to make it better. And the only way to do that is if you see it and you look at it and say, oh, I can make that better because that's what we're all trying to do. And then once you make it better, then maybe I can look at yours and make it better again. So we just keep making it better and better as we go along. So share what your thoughts are. Don't be afraid. And again, we'll see you guys all again very soon. Bye.